game, so tell me about yourself first. I first graduated from Public Eskimo Festas Malaya with an associate degree in sync with the Brigad Kumlog. I have learned and practiced about Silicon Mikana Sink at Algerian Hospital and Pudinjati Hospital to practice perioperative nursing care. I am able to perform nursing care effectively and efficiently. My interpersonal skill is excellent. I have excellent communication skills. While waiting for the next registration certificate, I followed several pieces of training, such as basic thermal cardiac life support training, basic skill course for the operating room nurse, and anesthesia nursing training. Okay, so do you prefer to work alone or as a part a team? I believe that preparative care at the hospital is a team effort. I really enjoy my communication with the team and I prefer someone to give confidence to me because I have a high sense of responsibility. Okay, then why did you choose to be an operating room nurse? I have a purpose in life to always be useful for others. This prompted me to pursue this profession, nursing, during school, I reach every room during clinical practice. I am interested in choosing the operation room for my field. I like the high discipline of this room, managing and keeping the equipment and room sterile, providing anesthesia to support the operation to run smoothly. This room is very unique, where I am interested in developing the abilities that I have such as providing preoperative nursing care, arranging tools and rooms, and arranging anesthesia. Okay, uh, what is your previous surgical experience? I did student practice at Adjoin Hospital and Winningjati Hospital to practice preoperative nursing care. I have experience being able to help prepare surgical equipment observe an anesthesiologist in providing anesthesia to patients and experience the course of surgery. The experience was strengthened by attending training. Okay, and then explain the mistakes you made at work or clinically and how do you handle them? The mistake I made was when I took a blood sample for a laboratory test from a patient whose blood pressures were not visible. So I had to step several times in the legs and hand arms because the blood never came out. After pissing the fourth time, the blood was successfully obtained and I put it into the vacuum tube. When removing the syringe from the vacuum tube, the lid of the vacuum tube release causing the syringe and the tube to fall. I tried to take it. It turns out there is still a quarter of the blood in the tube. Then I closed the tube. I and the client supremely help clean the blood that fell on the floor. The thing that can be learned from the incident, I am more careful in taking action, such as double checking whether the vacuum tube kept fits or not. In addition, a sense of patience and confidence can be kept by the nurse during any difficult action. So, what is the most important quality an operating room nurse can have? Discipline, proper problem solving, and communication skills are the most important qualities that an operating room nurse has. In addition, nurse must be able to provide perioperative nursing care, such as catheter placement and wound nursing after surgery, paper sterile and non-sterile instruments, and maintain smooth operation. Okay, tell me what is your ideal work environment? A conducive environment, teamwork, respect for others, friendly staff, opportunities for career development, and educational staff development. The most important thing in this work environment is good cooperation. Good cooperation is carried out between surgeons, 
surgical assistant nurse, scrub nurse, anesthetist, anesthetist nurse, and onlook nurse in the operating room for the smooth operation. Okay, uh, and explain what are the tasks performed by the operating room nurse after the surgery is over. Immediately after the surgical procedure is complete, it is the nurse's duty to examine and record vital signs, arrange an orderly and safe transition to the recovery room, and evaluate the patient's response to a surgical intervention. Okay, how do you deal with patients who constantly complain about pain? I will assure patients that everything is possible to alleviate their discomfort. I will listen sympathetically to their complaints, assure them that their worries are here, and we do everything possible to help them. Okay, and then the last one I ask you. So, how do you define great patient care? The great patient care is patient-centered by learning their senses and responding as quickly as possible to their needs, providing education to the well-awaiting surgery about the pain they are experiencing and how to treat them after the surgery, so they feel that I care about them well and will recommend my facilities to others. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh... And for now, the interview stage is over. So, henceforth, we will contact you if you have passed a job interview. So, good luck. Okay, thank you, Mr.